Hey guys, what's up? This is Nikhil from dopemotions.com and welcome to this brand new Photoshop tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how you can make your images look really nice and dramatic in a really easy way. It's going to be really quick and easy, so let's get straight into it and get started. Alright, so here we are in Photoshop. So here I have my image already loaded up in Photoshop. So the first thing that I'm going to do or we need to do is hit Ctrl J two times to create two copies of our images. The first image, I'm going to name it as high pass. And the second image, I'm going to name as blur. Then we can hide the first image and select our second blur image. And go to filter, go to blur and add a Gaussian blur. And make a radius of 5 pixels. You can, you know, keep it according to your requirements. But 5 pixels is the best in this kind of an effect. So I'm going to keep it at 5 and hit OK and set the blending mode from normal to soft light so right off the bat we are going to get this really nice and dreamy kind of a look but as you can see uh, the details are kind of washed out and blurred out so to bring back the details what we need to do is we need to first of all click on this icon and turn it on the high pass image and set the blending mode to overlay then what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the image and hit Control shift u to desaturate it go to filter go to other and click on high pass now depending on your image like if you want to keep or bring out more and more details you can you know increase the number higher but if you want to keep it really really you know i want to keep it between kind of a balance of the blur and the details so for that i'm going to keep it at 12 pixels and hit ok and you can see if I just hit Ctrl G to group the effects up, let's just name this effects. You can see before and after. It looks, it has that really nice and dramatic look to it. Now you can always go into effects and adjust it by, you know, playing around with the opacity. If I, you know, I want kind of a smooth skin, I can just decrease the opacity of the high pass, but it is also gonna, you know, drain out the details a bit. So for now, I'm going to leave it at, let's say, 75. Close this up. Then what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go right over here and add a gradient map. Change the black to a kind of a orangish, yellowish orange maybe. Something like that. And change the white to kind of a darker blue. You know, something like that. So our blacks are going to be blue and the whites or highlights are going to be yellow and I'm going to hit OK. Then I'm going to set the transform mode to soft light. And then change the opacity according to your requirements but 20 looks good to me. It's going to add that really nice dramatic feel to it. You can see before and after. It's just a subtle change but it makes your image look really really nice. You can see before and after. Makes a hell lot of difference and make it look really nice. The last thing that I'm going to do is add a vignette and that is pretty simple. I'm going to go right over here and add a gradient. Make it black. Just like so. Hit OK. Change this from linear to radial. And reverse this up and change the scale amount to 500%. Maybe I'll just set this to black as well. So it's that simple and easy. So that's a wrap for today. I hope this video was helpful to you guys. And if it was, don't forget to subscribe, comment and like. And I'll see you in my next video. Till then, take care and thank you so much for watching guys. Don't forget to stay raw, stay creative.